Welcome to Nairobi the capital and largest city of Kenya. The name is derived from the Maasai phrase Nkere Nairobi, which translates to place of cool waters, a reference to the Nairobi River which flows through the city. The city proper had a population of 4,397,073 in the 2019 census. The city is commonly referred to as the green city in the sun. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video to your friends and family. Nairobi was founded in 1899 by colonial authorities in British East Africa, as a rail depot on the Uganda, Kenya Railway. The town quickly grew to replace Mombasa as the capital of Kenya in 1907. After independence in 1963, Nairobi became the capital of the Republic of Kenya. During Kenya's colonial period, the city became a center for the colony's coffee, tea, and sisal industry. The city lies in the south-central part of Kenya, at an elevation of 1,795 meters 5,889 feet. Nairobi is home of the Kenyan Parliament buildings and hosts thousands of Kenyan businesses and over 1,000 major international companies and organizations, including the United Nations Environment Program, UN Environment, and the United Nations Office at Nairobi, UNON. Nairobi is an established hub for business and culture. The Nairobi Securities Exchange, NSE, is one of the largest in Africa and the second oldest exchange on the continent. It is Africa's fourth largest exchange in terms of trading volume, capable of making 10 million trades a day. It also contains the Nairobi National Park. Nairobi joined the UNESCO Global Network of Learning Cities in 2010. The NSE was officially recognized as an overseas stock exchange by the London Stock Exchange in 1953. Nairobi has not been left behind by the fintech phenomenon that has taken over worldwide. It has produced a couple of tech firms like Kraft Silicon, Kongai Technologies, Lensoft, Jambo Pay and Hostraha Limited, which have been in the forefront of technology, innovation and cloud-based computing services. Their products are widely used and have considerable market share presence within Kenya and outside its borders. Goods manufactured in Nairobi include clothing, textiles, building materials, processed foods, beverages, and cigarettes. Several foreign companies have factories based in and around the city. These include Goodyear, General Motors, Toyota Motors, and Coca-Cola. Nairobi has a large tourist industry, being both a tourist destination and a transport hub. Nairobi is found within the Greater Nairobi Metropolitan Region, which consists of parts of 5 out of 47 counties in Kenya, which generate about 40% of the entire nation's GDP as per 2022 data by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Nairobi County on its own contributes to 27.5% of the country's GDP according to the same report while Kiambu County comes second with 5.9%. The site of Nairobi was originally part of an uninhabited swamp. The name Nairobi itself comes from the Maasai expression meaning, cool waters, referring to the cold water stream which flowed through the area. With the arrival of the Uganda Railway, the site was identified by Sir George Whitehouse for a store depot, shunting ground and camping ground for the Indian laborers working on the railway. Whitehouse, chief engineer of the railway, favored the site as an ideal resting place due to its high elevation, temperate climate, adequate water supply and being situated before the steep ascent of the Limuru escarpments. His choice was however criticized by officials within the protectorate government who felt the site was too flat poorly drained and relatively infertile. During the pre-colonial era, the people of modern Kenya mostly lived in villages amongst their tribes and cultural groups, where they had rulers within their communities rather than one singular government or leader. In 1898, Arthur Church was commissioned to design the first town layout for the railway depot. It constituted two streets, Victoria Street and Station Street, ten avenues, staff quarters, and an Indian commercial area. The railway arrived at Nairobi on May 30, 1899, and soon Nairobi replaced Machikos as the headquarters of the provincial administration for Ukamba province. On the arrival of the railway, White House remarked that, Nairobi itself will in the course of the next two years become a large and flourishing place and already there are many applications for sites for hotels, shops, and houses. The town's early years were however beset with problems of malaria leading to at least one attempt to have the town moved. In the early 1900s, Bazaar Street, now Bayashara Street, was completely rebuilt after an outbreak of plague and the burning of the original town. Between 1902 and 1910, the town's population rose from 5,000 to 16,000 and grew around administration and tourism, initially in the form of big game hunting. 
In 1907, Nairobi replaced Mombasa as the capital of the East Africa Protectorate. In 1908, a further outbreak of the plague led to Europeans concluding that the cause was unhygienic conditions in the Indian Bazaar. The government responded by restricting lower-class Indians and African natives to specific quarters for residents and trade setting a precedent for racial segregation in the commercial sphere. By the outset of the First World War, Nairobi was well established as a European settler colony through immigration and land alienation. In 1919, Nairobi was declared to be a municipality. In 1921, Nairobi had 24,000 residents, of which 12,000 were native Africans. The next decade saw growth in native African communities in Nairobi, and they began to constitute a majority for the first time. This growth caused planning issues, described by Thorntorn White and his planning team as the Nairobi problem. In February 1926, colonial officer Eric Dutton passed through Nairobi on his way to Mount Kenya, and said of the city, Maybe one day Nairobi will be laid out with tarred roads, with avenues of flowering trees, flanked by noble buildings, with open spaces and stately squares, a cathedral worthy of faith and country, museums and of art, theaters and public offices. And it is fair to say that the government and the municipality have already bravely tackled the problem and that a town plan ambitious enough to turn Nairobi into a thing of beauty has been slowly worked out, and much has already been done. But until that plan has borne fruit, Nairobi must remain what she was then, a slatternly creature, unfit to queen it over so lovely a country. After World War II, continuous expansion of the city angered both the indigenous Maasai and Kikuyu. This led to the Mau Mau uprising in the 1950s, and the Lancaster House Conferences, which initiated a transition to Kenyan independence in 1963. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video to your friends and family. The city is situated at 1 degree 9 minutes south 36 degrees 39 minutes east and 1 degree 27 minutes south 37 degrees 6 minutes east and occupies 696 square kilometers, 270 square miles. Nairobi is situated between the cities of Kampala and Mombasa. As Nairobi is adjacent to the eastern edge of the Rift Valley, minor earthquakes and tremors occasionally occur. The Ngong Hills, located to the west of the city, are the most prominent geographical feature of the Nairobi area. Mount Kenya is situated north of Nairobi, and Mount Kilimanjaro is towards the southeast. The Nairobi River and its tributaries traverse through the Nairobi County and joins the larger River Athai on the eastern edge of the county. Throughout the 2000s, Nairobi had struggled with rising crime, earning a reputation for being a dangerous city and the nickname Nairobi, a name which persists today. On August 7, 1998, the U.S. Embassy was bombed, killing 224 people and injuring 4,000. In 2001, the United Nations International Civil Service Commission rated Nairobi as among the most insecure cities in the world, classifying the city as Status C. In the United Nations report, it was stated that in 2001, nearly one-third of all Nairobi residents experienced some form of robbery in the city. The head of one development agency cited the notoriously high levels of violent armed robberies, burglaries, and carjackings. Crime had risen in Nairobi as a result of unplanned urbanization, with a minimal number of police stations and a proper security infrastructure. However, many claim that the biggest factor for the city's alarming crime rate is police corruption, which leaves many criminals unpunished. As a security precaution, most large houses have a watch guard, burglar grills, and dogs to patrol their grounds during the night. Most crimes, however, occur around the poor neighborhoods where it gets dangerous during night hours. Nairobi is home to most of Kenya's news and media organizations. The city is also home to the region's largest newspapers, The Daily Nation and The Standard. These are circulated within Kenya and cover a range of domestic and regional issues. Both newspapers are published in English. People Daily is also the leading free newspaper distributed on the streets of Nairobi. It is published by MediaMax Limited. Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, a state-run television and radio station, is headquartered in the city. Kenya Television Network is part of the Standard Group and was Kenya's first privately owned TV station. The Nation Media Group runs NTV which is based in Nairobi, the Royal Media Services, RMS. There are also a number of prominent radio stations located in Kenya's capital including Citizen Radio, Inuro FM, KISS 100, Capital FM, East FM, Kamim FM, Metro FM, and Family FM, among others. Several multinational media organizations have their regional headquarters in Nairobi. 
These include the BBC, CNN, Agence France Presse, Reuters, Deutsche Welle, and the Associated Press. The East African Bureau of CNBC Africa is located in Nairobi city center, while the Nairobi Bureau of the New York Times is located in the suburb of Jijirai. The broadcast headquarters of CCTV Africa are located in Nairobi. Under the Koppen climate classification, Nairobi has a subtropical highland climate, CWB. At 1,795 meters, 5,889 feet, above sea level, evenings may be cool, especially in the June-July season, when the temperature can drop to 5 degrees Celsius 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The sunniest and warmest part of the year is from December to March, when temperatures average in the high 20 Celsius during the day. The mean maximum temperature for this period is 28 degrees Celsius 82 degrees Fahrenheit. There are rainy seasons, but rainfall can be moderate. The cloudiest part of the year is just after the first rainy season, when, until September, conditions are usually overcast with drizzle. As Nairobi is situated close to the equator, the differences between the seasons are minimal. The seasons are referred to as the wet season and dry season. The timing of sunrise and sunset varies little throughout the year for the same reason. Please subscribe to this channel and share this video to your friends and family. Nairobi is divided into a series of constituencies with each being represented by members of parliament in the National Assembly. The initial constituencies before the 2010 constitution which led to the county electoral boundaries Benig redrawn were, Makadara, Kamukunji, Steri, Langata, Dagoretti, Westlands, Kasarani, and Mbakasi. The new electoral boundaries after this were revised to Mbakasi North, Mbakasi South, Mbakasi Central, Mbakasi East, Mbakasi West, Makadara, Kamukunji, Steri, Mathar, Westlands, Dagoretti North, Dagoretti South, Langata, Kibra, Ruaraka, Roizambu and Kasarani. The main administrative divisions of Nairobi are Central, Dagoretti, Mbakasi, Kasarani, Kibra, Makadara, Pumwani, and Westlands. Most of the upmarket suburbs are situated to the west and north central of Nairobi, where most European settlers resided during the colonial times aka Ubabini. These include Karen, Langata, Lavington, Jijirai, Muthega, Brookside, Spring Valley, Lorsho, Kilimani, Kilaleshwa, Hullingham, Runda, Kitasuru, Nyari, Kuna, Lower Kabit, Westlands, and High Ridge, although Kongemi, Kawangware,